All right, Rankin family. So we are going to be looking at this beautiful J. Patrick Holmes right here in Siena. This is the Whitley 2. So just for reference, I had showcased that Toll Brothers over there not too long ago. That's another J. Patrick Holmes right here is the Ashby by Toll Brothers. And I had showcased that one, not to mention over here, you have the one by Jamestown Estate Homes, showcased that one as well a few days ago. So going inside of this beautiful property, I can't wait for you to see it. Five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. Um, the exterior, of course, we do have the beautiful stucco that we so much love, not to mention you have this stone as well. And just going over this grand front porch, I absolutely love it. The one thing I really love about these properties that are over 5,000 square feet is the huge covered front porch right here. Absolutely love that. Now, going inside of here, we are going to have the double doors, which everyone so much loves. I can't tell if I really like the pivot door or maybe the double doors, really just a personal preference uh, to the customer. So going inside the foyer, we are going to have the high ceilings with the crown molding. And if you notice, it's open to the dining room as well. So we'll start right here to the left. So that way you can see the first bedroom. You have the beautiful chandelier right here coming down, not to mention you have the accent wall as well. One thing I really love about this one is the amount of space inside of here. Like I always mention, the fact that you have over 5,000 square feet in some of these properties shows that you can easily have more room inside of the bedrooms, which I absolutely love, especially if you're in a situation where you have a huge bedroom set a lot of times people like to have a bedroom set for the guests and if that's the case you want something with more square footage so that way you can take advantage and it's not snug so this one of course is going to have the full bathroom attached to it as well going inside of here you are going to have the quartz countertops you have the large walk-in shower now inside of here you are going to have the brass shower head which one thing I really love about that. Now, of course, you do have the shower bench as well. You have the black lighting fixtures. And not to mention right here, we don't see this often, but you do have a medicine cabinet. Perfect. Of course, you have the linen closet as well. And if you notice, you have the darker cabinetry with the black hardware. So continuing along right there to the right would be the study but let's go ahead and go into the dining room. So inside of here, you are gonna have the tray ceilings with the accent wall. And of course you do have the support beams right here. Get a lot of requests about removing the support beams. And that's one of the things that it's a structural, um, you know, deal where at the end of the day, you wanna make sure that the house doesn't fall apart whatsoever, especially if you have kids upstairs playing around all the time. So the support beam is definitely necessary. So going inside of the kitchen, you are gonna have the beautiful stack cabinets, recessed lighting. You have these black lighting fixtures going over your oversized island. And I absolutely love the color tone inside of here. So of course it's complete. You have the stainless steel appliances inside of here and just look how much space you have between the counters and the island right here. Perfect for entertaining guests. A lot of times if you're gonna get something this square footage, over 5,000 square feet, you are going to entertain quite a bit. So sometimes if you have a large family and they're all in the kitchen at one time, you don't want to have to be bumping into each other. So that's one good thing that you have so much space inside of the kitchen. Of course, you have the waterfall countertops and then going into your breakfast nook, you are going to have these sliders, which I absolutely love. And you still have plenty of space inside of the breakfast nook as well which is fantastic. So continuing along right here is gonna be your powder bath. If you notice you have the raised ceilings inside of here as well. You have the oversized baseboards. Of course, you have quartz countertops with the brass hardware. And then of course we do have a little closet. You can utilize this as maybe a pantry or something similar in that nature. And then so what we'll do is we'll continue along this way. So a lot of times you might just use that as maybe a secondary pantry or utilize that as just another storage because you do have a full size walk-in pantry over here as well. Maybe if you wanna hide some snacks 
and you don't want everyone to see it, you can go ahead and put it over there. So inside of here, you are going to have your utility room, almost like a utility room, mud room combination inside of here. You do have your sink over here, all the cabinetry for extra storage space up here. And you have a nice shelf area over there. I would probably put decor up there just so it doesn't look all cluttered and messy. And that way you can put the laundry detergent, fabric softener, and all that stuff in the cabinets so that way it's hidden. So of course right here would be your garage. As you can tell inside of here, you do have epoxy flooring. And then this, you just, okay, that's locked. But in there, of course you would have three car garage. All right, so that's over here. And then let me go ahead and show you the great room itself. You have this oversized ceiling fan. It's an LED ceiling fan. Of course, you do have all the windows for an abundance of natural light. You have the floor to ceiling fireplace, it's an electric fireplace right here, not to mention it's that brick. It's that painted white brick. I absolutely love that touch. And then continuing along, this is gonna be your primary bedroom. Wow. So inside of here, you have the shiplap ceiling, tray ceilings as well, recessed lighting, beautiful chandelier right over your bed. And then over here, you are gonna have your bay windows, plenty of space. You can utilize this as a sitting area, maybe some chairs that you can get from some of these fancy furniture stores. If you're gonna be purchasing a house like this, I don't think you might be shopping at Ikea or who knows, you know, Ikea got some good stuff, I tell you. Don't sleep on Ikea. But inside of here, you also have the crown molding all along here as well. You have plenty of space for an oversized bedroom set. Even if you wanna go ahead and get a bigger bed than a king, for whatever reason, if you have a lot of kids like I do that always, you know, come to the bedroom and Really now we're starting to see that the king size bed isn't enough room. So inside of here, you are gonna have this beautiful ensuite. You have this rectangular soaking tub with the brass faucet, which I love. Tile flooring extends in here. You do have his and her sinks right here and the vanity area in the middle. And quite frankly, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Would you rather, for at least my ladies or whoever used the vanity, would you rather the vanity area be separate? I know I showcased one not too long ago, a couple of days ago actually, and it was the Stelvio Toll Brothers model and it had almost that section for your own vanity area. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me go ahead and open this for you. So you have the closet right here. Of course you have the toilet and then let's see the walk-in shower. Wow, look how much space you have in here. So the tile extends inside of here. So the same tile that you use on the floor right here is actually on the shower surround. You have the brass uh, shower heads. Obviously you have the dual shower heads inside of here. You have two shower niches, a shower bench as well. Plenty of space. Wow. Really can't get much better than this. Let's go ahead and take a look inside of the closet. Wow. Plenty of space inside of here. You have this section right here, which is perfect for, you know, accessories, how I always mention. Sometimes this may be overkill. You may not need all this space or all this shelving inside of here. So if it is something that you don't need this much or you want it to be more simple, obviously reach out so that way we can get you connected. Look at this little area over here. You have your cabinet over here. I can see, you know, we're in Texas, so I can see a lot of people putting a gun safe over here, maybe closing it off so it's not so exposed, but you have that option. And then of course you have the area over here. So yeah, you definitely have plenty of space and I love that they didn't add carpet inside of here. I like when the tiles over here gives it more of that elegant feel in my opinion. Could be wrong, you could say, hey, I totally disagree and that's okay too. So that was the primary. Of course, you had two bedrooms downstairs. And then what I'll do is do one more pan so that way you can see how beautiful this property is. 
even on top you can see the second story which will go up there now but what you'll notice as well you do have these floating shelves right here as well and then this area right here you are going to have your coat closet or you can utilize this as a storage closet as well just really dependent on your personal needs not to mention going up here you are going to have the darker rails should have I believe it's yeah you have iron rails inside of here and then the rest of the bedrooms are going to be upstairs so we'll continue to the right of course you can see over the great room right here so if all the families downstairs this is a perfect place for you and then going into your game room look how much space you have inside of here so as you can tell you have this oversized pool table right here and you still have plenty of walk room i love that you have this little floating counter right here it might be a little too close for the tv but if you wanted to turn those around and just chit chat while people are playing pool up here you certainly have that option so inside of here you do have the tray ceilings again not to mention you have that beautiful lighting fixture right over your pool table which is perfect and not to mention you have a second story balcony wow you can imagine like i said uh, folks this is a model house so keep that in mind it's not for sale at the present time but this just shows you what could be possible absolutely beautiful right here look at this you can imagine hanging out right here with all the family this is a perfect place so the cool thing is you do have the game room right here but not to mention you have the media room connected to it so you have these double sliding doors inside of here and i'll do a quick pan of the media so inside of here you do have the raised ceilings you have the led ceiling fan you have that shiplap again right here built-in cabinetry floating cap uh, floating counters floating cabinets and look how much space you have inside of here so you definitely have a lot of walk room a lot of folks would probably add theater like seats inside of here and that way you can just close these uh, double doors off you can easily close up that window right there as well and that way you have that theater like ambiance so continuing along right here you are going to have a bedroom over here this is the perfect spot we always talk about for twister scrabble all that good stuff full-size bathroom inside of here with the shower tub combo you do have the white cabinetry with the black hardware and not to mention you have the brass shower head inside of here unique combination and then look at this shower surround you almost have like this zigzag shower surround inside of here so this is perfect so if folks are in the game room in the media room they could easily come straight here and this could this is another bedroom so the one thing i really love inside of here you have three windows so if you notice you have an abundance of natural light entering this property especially on a good day like this which is fantastic so you definitely have space inside of here queen size bed two night tables you have that accent wall back there and it doesn't compromise space and a nice size walk-in closet especially for the bedrooms upstairs you really don't need huge closets but it's always nice to have walk-in closets so continuing along and make sure I open every single door for you right here we're going to have almost like an attic area you could use it easily utilize that as another bedroom maybe a flex room or something similar of that nature and then this is going to be your fourth bedroom so we see the mini door right here as well we've seen that in the other bedroom that we just left out of another access to the attic a lot of kiddos probably take advantage of that might need to block that off but yeah inside of here again i mean this is a queen size bed with two nightstands i believe no actually this is a king size bed that's a king size bed two oversized nightstands and a full-size walk-in closet again so carpet inside the bedrooms you do have wood flooring on the second floor and this one's going to have a bathroom 
attached to it. Wow. Haven't actually seen this kind of shower surround. This is a wood like tile shower surround. I'm kind of digging it. I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. Wow. First I've seen that. All right, and then with quartz countertops inside of here, I love the white cabinetry with the brass handles. I just, I don't know. I, I mean, I thought I liked the one with the black, the black hardware hair, black hardware with the white cabinetry, but I'm, I'm digging this right now. Love to hear your thoughts. Of course, you got your medicine cabinet again. All right, and so continuing along. One more storage closet right here. This is perfect for comforters. And then going to the final bedroom, this is what we're working with. So again, you do have the raised ceilings inside of here. You have these oversized windows with the window grids, still adds in plenty of natural light. And just look how much space you have inside of here, even with the desk and the dresser and the bed. You have an abundance of space. All right, same size walk-in closet. And this one does have a full-size bathroom again. So yeah, I mean, this is J. Patrick Holmes. I mean, really, quite frankly, as you can tell with the upgrades they have inside of here, they do a fantastic job. You don't have that cheaper like materials. They definitely use quality and you can tell that inside of this model house. And like I always say, folks, some of this stuff you may not need. And if that is the case, of course, we'll definitely get you taken care of. Just letting us know exactly what it is that you need. So that way we can customize and tailor a plan for you, depending on your personal needs. So if you love the square footage, if you love the concept, J. Patrick Holmes, they have quite a bit of plans that can accommodate really any need so by you reaching out and creating a customized plan we can find out if it is a perfect fit for you so let's take a look at the backyard we obviously seen it through the second story balcony but you do have this beautiful extended covered patio over here you're going to have your built-in stainless steel grill with the sink area with your patio equipment and then on this side, you're going to have an extension as well. So you definitely have plenty of space. And just looking at this one, look how much room you have in the backyard. Wow. Perfect. So if it's something where obviously a lot of this stuff is for showcase purposes, but if it's something where you wanted to build a pool, you have a trampoline over there, you have a swing set, and you have plenty of space without having to figure out which one you wanna do. You can do all three of those and still have a ton of room. But that folks is the lovely J. Patrick Holmes. All right, Rankin family. So that was the lovely J. Patrick Holmes right here in Siena. If it's something where you love this plan, but you don't wanna be in this location, reach out to the information below. We'll definitely get you taken care of. Let me know in the comments what you folks thought about it. And of course, I'll see you folks on the next property tour.